Welcome to Buns of Steel 3. I'm Tammy Lee Webb. The exercises in this video have been designed to tighten and strengthen the muscles in your legs, buttocks, and stomach. The latest research in exercise science has been utilized to assure you a safe and effective workout. Before beginning this or any exercise program, it is best to get a doctor's approval. And help reduce possible chances of injuries, each exercise should be performed with the proper technique. Let's now review the technique you'll need to remember while doing the exercises. Whenever doing a lunge, whether it's forward or to the side, do not allow the knee to go past 90 degrees. This is 90 degrees. Do not allow it to go past the toe and better yet, keep it in line with the ankle. When you go down on your lunges, make sure the body comes down. Do not keep moving forward. When you pull back into position, tighten the abdominal muscles, lift your leg. Remember to contract the abdominal muscles on all the exercises. This will do two things for you. It helps support the back, and two, it works your stomach muscles throughout the entire workout. Squats. From a side view, the squat is done like this. The buttock goes back. The knee, remember, does not go beyond 90 degrees. The biggest mistake people do is they just bend forward, right on down, and the knees go past the toes. Emphasize the hip area. Just as you're sitting in a chair, and then you decide, nah, I'll stand back up. So the buttocks goes back, the knees stay just above the feet, and you use your buttocks and your legs and your stomach to pull yourself in. And most important, keep breathing through all the exercises. Now, let's have fun and begin our exercise program. Let's begin with our warm up and stretch. Feet nice and wide apart. You're gonna plie down and up. Remember, those knees not be on 90 degrees. Down and up. Bring the hands by the shoulder and lift them up and down. Or more. Now just circle the arms in front of you. Down and circle. Four more. Raise those arms up and down again. Double check the knees, not beyond that 90 degrees. And circle the arms for four, three, two. Arms up and down. And circle. Up and down. Keep it right here. Now take it to your right and left. Circle the arms. We're raising our body temperature to prepare our body for a nice workout. Here we go, arms overhead. And circle. Overhead, and this is a keeper right here. Bring him chest level, press it out. One arm press. Back to two arms. One arm. Now, two arms with a step touch. Four, three, two, lead the legs back out, one arm press. Step touch, two arms. One arm. And step. Now we're gonna change the arms, take them down and up to an upright row. Looks like this. To a bicep curl. Upright row, elbows come out, fists come up to the chin, bicep. Again, please. And bicep. One more time, elbows up. And bicep. Now eliminate the arms, hands on your waist. Two more. Now I want you to march it out in place. Here we go, march. Inhale up, exhale down. Now alternate lunges toward me, starting right, push back, left, push back. The spine is straight, tighten the abdominals, inhale up and down, reach up and down. Remember to push off on that front leg. Tighten the abdominals to support our spine and to work the abdominals throughout the entire workout. Two more. Now take it to your right and left sides. Again. 
Add the arms out to the side. Reminder, that knee does not go boss. The toe, four, three, two, hold it in the middle, inhale up. And exhale. Bring your right leg forward. Press your buttocks back, just like you're gonna sit in a chair. Now I'm gonna show you a side view here. Elongate the spine, hand on the bent knee. Push the buttocks back as far as it can go. Feel the stretch in the hamstring. For four, three, two. Now watch the toe, bring it up slowly and feel the stretch move down the lower part of the leg, down in the calf muscle. Four, three, two, one. Press it back down, bring up the torso and take the same leg back behind you. Press the heel down, bring it under, down and under. Double checking the knee in the front. Notice it's in line with the ankle. Hold this next one back right here. Bring the arm in front, both hands are on the bent knee. The body is straight from the ankle all the way up to the head. Stretching down in the calf and the Achilles. Bring the torso up, press the pelvis forward, stretching in the hip flexors. Continue breathing. Now lower the leg down, keep the torso up, tighten the abdominals, feel in a stretch in the front of the thigh area called the quadriceps. Four, three, two, one. Pick it up. Now bring that heel directly up behind you. And if your arm's out to the side, it'll help you balance. And the base leg, the leg that's holding you up, should be slightly bent at the knee. Pelvis tucked under, pull the stomach in. Another nice stretch to the quadricep. Hold it here for four, three, two, and one. Inhale, center, exhale. Now with the left leg, bring it forward. Just like you're sitting in a chair, push your buttocks back as far as they'll go. Elongate the spine from the side view. Here we go. Pull the stomach in, push the pelvis back. Stretch in the back of our upper thigh, called the hamstring. Keep breathing, four, three, two, one. Now watch the toe, bring it up slowly. Feel the stretch go down to the lower part of the leg in the calf muscle. Now take the toe back down, bend, roll it up. Take the same leg back behind you, lunge on the front, Remember the knee, bring the knee under, press back. Two more than hold, there's one and two. Hold it right here, press that heel back, lunge in the front. Again, stretching down the lower part of the leg called the gastrocnemius and the soleus. Bring the torso up, press the pelvis under, stretching the hip flexor right in here. Now slowly and gently bring it down, Feel in a stretch in the front of the thigh area, in the quadriceps. For four, three, two, one. Bring it up, balance it again. The hand goes out to the side, bend the base leg, bring the heel up toward the buttocks. Tighten the abdominals, pull the pelvis forward. Once again, stretching the quadriceps. They're gonna get a lot of workout today, as well as our thighs and our buttocks and our abdominals. For four, three, two, and one, release it, inhale up, exhale down. Now we're ready to begin the exercise part of our program. If you need more of a challenge, you can add hand weights. If not, stay with me right here. Next time you do this three or four times down, you can add the hand weights. We're gonna start with the feet shoulder width apart. We're gonna start with the front lunge on your right, alternating, ready? Four, three, two, one, step, push back. Step, push back. The torso is straight. You pull the abdominals in when you pull back. Push off on the front leg. Now for variety, we can raise our arms up just above the shoulder. Push back. Now the beauty here is that on the lunge, we are working our legs, the thighs, inner and outer thighs, the buttocks, the back of the thigh and the hamstring. And doing the stomach, contracting the abdominal wall you're working the abdominals as well. Come on, push it off. Step, push back. Remember to come down, not forward. You step forward and then lower your body down to the ground.
Let's do four more right here. Four, three, two, one. Now hold the right forward, forward and down. Very controlled and slow. Check the knee, it's not going beyond that 90 degrees. Down and up. If you get tired, you can eliminate the arms. The spine is straight, abdominals pulled in, working the thighs and the buttocks. Four more, please. Four, three, two. Now go back to alternation, here we go. Push back, down, push back. Now if you push back with your toe up and pressing back on the heel, you'll feel a little bit more in the buttocks. Three more. One more and hold this one. And up and down. Control. Feel it working in the thighs and the buttocks. Exhale. Four more. Four, three, two, and one. Go back to alternation. We're going to do four more and then we're going to change our lunges. There's four, three, two, and one. Now let's take the lunges to the side. Remember, the knee not be on 90 degrees. Out, push in. Out, push in. Now, when you push in, lift this leg. Emphasize lifting it, working the abductors, outer thighs. Lunge, lift, pull in. Lunge, lift, pull in. We can add variety with the arms. Down, up, down, up. Working the outer thighs, still in the buttocks. Four, push off, two, and one. Now, let's alternate front, side, front, side. Lunge, now to the side. Lunge to the front, the other leg. Now to the side, back to the front. Emphasizing the legs now. Step, push off, step, push off. Remember, keeping that abdominals nice and tight to support the spine as well as work the abdominals through the entire workout. Good technique. Now let's add our arm movements. Lateral, upright. How you doing? Don't worry, if you can't keep up, do what you can. Each time that you do this program, you'll become stronger and you'll be able to do more. If it's not hard enough for you, all you need to do is add some hand weights. Adding weight adds resistance. It will mean you have to work harder. Come on, good form. Knee, not beyond 90. Tiny abdominals, push off. This is our last set. And here. Now we're going to go down to our squats. From the side view, it looks like this. Down, two, three, four, pull it in. Squeeze the pelvis forward, just like you're sitting in a chair. Then you say, nah, I think I'm gonna stand back up. Not in the knees, watch my knees, they do not change. Okay, here we go. It's down, two, three, four, up, two, three, four. Sit down there, now squeeze your buttocks when you come up, as well as the stomach muscles. Squeeze, squeeze. Now count the twos, down. Two. Come on, you can do it. It's down, pull it in. All is the buttocks. The 
when the head is in line with the spine and the back is straight, it does not bend over. Let's do four more. Four, three, two, and one. Now lift one heel up. So it's one leg of squat. Remember, get the buttocks back. It's down, pull in, down, pull in. Push it back, pull it in. Push it back, pull it in. Again, you're going to feel this in the legs, the buttocks, and the thighs. Getting ready for all seasons. You should feel nothing dragging behind us. You gotta tighten it up. Push it back, pull it in. Four more. Four, three, two, and one. Back to both heels down, squat, pull it in. Squat, pull it in. Check those knees, they should not be going past your toes. You should see those toes and your shoestrings. Give yourself four more. Four, three, two, and one. Now bring the other heel up, squat, pull it under. When you come forward, push the pelvis forward as tight as you can, as well as the stomach muscle. We have eight more, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Back to doubles, both heels down. Down, pull it forward. Remember, if you feel any discomfort, go ahead and take a break. Maybe you're going down too far. We have four more to go. Four, three, two, and one. Now we're going to combine all of them. We're going to lunge, squat, side lunge, squat. Lunge, squat, side lunge, push off. Other side, squat, side lunge. Lunge forward. Side lunge, push up. Control it, good techniques. Left side. Now add a squat after each lunge. Lunge, squat. Lunge, push up, squat, side lunge. We're almost there. Push off, squat. Last time. Side. Now hold the squats for doubles right here, right here. Check it out from the side again. It's back in the pelvis. Push the buttocks back. This is incorrect. See how my knees are going forward? Push it back. This is three position squat. We're gonna start with the right. We start middle, two, three. Now step wide to your right. Turn the toes down, plie, squeeze the inner thighs. We'll hold it here for four more. Four, three, two, toes forward, down. Keep squeezing the pelvis forward. Four more, four, three, two. Step together again, four, three, Two, step to this side now. Hold it here. Four more, check out the knees. The action's not in the knees. It's back in the hip, toes out. Squeeze in the adductors, inner thighs. Four, three, two, toes forward. Four more. Now back to the center for four. Four, three, two, step side. Four, three, two, turn it out. Toes back to the front. Step to the center. Remember, push the buttocks back, not in the knees. Step side. Toes out, squeeze the adductors, inner thighs. Forward. Step forward. 
Again to the other side. Four, three, two. Toes out. Toes forward. Now we're gonna go counts of twos. Center for two. Side two. Plie. And forward. Twos. Side. Come on, squeeze the gluteus, the buttocks, and the thighs. And center. The buttocks should be getting warmed up now. Turn it out. Now singles. It's one, one. Squeeze. Come on, you can do it. Push back. Step. Adductors. Last time. Hold center right here. Now we're going to lunge back. Two, three, your right leg. Lunge, pull it in. Lunge, pull it in. Again, check out the knee. Push up on the toe, tighten the abdominals. Those with the weights, bring the arms forward, pull in. How are we doing? You should be feeling it, getting somewhat of a cardiovascular here, especially for those of you that are adding resistance. Eight more, please. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And that completes our standing exercises. Let's go to the floor now. Lying on your side, the leg closest to the floor called your base leg. The leg on top, keep it slightly bent at the knee and back by the hip. Keep your hips, knees facing forward. We're gonna lift, two, and down, two. Notice I'm leading with the heel, not the toe. Working the abductors, the outer thighs, and the gluteus, the buttocks muscles. For more resistance, you can add an ankle weight around the ankle, or you can add a sport rubber band above the knees. Remember, tighten the abdominals when you lift the leg up. Now let's take it singles. Lift up and down. Up and down. Remember, tighten the abdominals. Keep the shoulder and the knee facing forward. Four more. Four. Three. Two. Hold this one up. Isometric resistance right here. Lift. Two. Three. Four. Now lift it up. Two, three, lead with the heel. And release it back down. One more time. We take it up for twos, down for two, up for two, and down for two. You should feel that hip starting to warm up a little bit. I'm going to do four more. Double check the alignment. The knee and shoulder facing forward. Tighten the abdominals on the leg lift. One more, please. Now let's take it to single, slow and control. Lift it up and down. Lead with the heel. Abdominals tight to support the lower back. Four more than hold. Four, three, two, hold it up. Isometric, hold for four, three, two, one. Now lift it up and down, nice little ones. For four, three, two, and one. Release it. Oh, you should have felt it right in here. Now, let's roll on over. Make sure the pelvis stay down. Cross your ankles. Now squeeze your feet against each other and curl the heels up toward the buttocks. Working the back of our thigh called the hamstring. Squeeze and release.
Keeping the hips down, tighten the abdominals when you lift up. Take it to singles, slow and control, curl, release. Think about contracting the muscles behind the upper thigh. Pull the hamstrings. Keep squeezing the feet against each other. Hold this one up. Keep squeezing. Squeeze the gluteus together. Now, if you can, you want to lift your heels up just a little bit. If you feel any discomfort in the lower back, disregard this exercise. Just nice little lifts. Four more. Tighten the abdominals. Two more. And that's it. Release it down. Now, let's roll it over to the other side. In our position, base leg is slightly bent. You have an option as well up in the upper body. You can lie on the arm. You can place it here. Whatever is comfortable. Top leg slightly bent. Lead with the heel. Knee and shoulder facing forward. Here we go. Lift up. Two. And down. Two. Tighten the abdominals on the lift. Working our abductors, outer thighs, as well as in the buttock muscles. Remember, for more resistance, you can add an ankle weight or you can use a sports rubber band just above the knees. This will add a lot of resistance and you'll really feel the exercise. Up. Up for twos. And down for two. One more. Now control it, singles up and down. Lift and down, lift and down. Contracting the abdominals on the lift. Remember, we wanna work the abdominals throughout the entire workout. Four more, four, three, two. Hold this one up, isometric contraction. It doesn't move, holding for four, three, two, and one. Now lift it up and down, nice little ones. Four more, four, three, two, and one. Bring it back down, we start from the top. Up two, down two. Up two, down two. Keep that leg slightly back behind the hip. Tighten the abdominals. You should be feeling it get warm back there now. We have three more to go. Two more. Come on, I know you can do it. One more. Take it to singles now. Up and up and down. Exhale, inhale. Four more than hold. Four, three, two. Hold this one. Isometry for four, three, two, and one. Now lift it up and up. Lead with the heel. Two and one, release it down. Oh, pat it out. We're gonna go back to the hamstring curls. Lying on your stomach, press the hips down, cross the ankles, press your feet against each other to create some resistance. Curl the heels up to the buttocks and tighten the abdominals when you curl. Squeeze as tight as you can when you come up on top. Squeeze the heels into the body. Two more. One more. Now singles in control. Up, down, up, down. Keep squeezing the feet together. Feel the resistance, tighten the buttocks. Two more, then hold it up. Right here. Now very gently and easy, lift the knees off the floor. If you feel any discomfort, disregard this exercise. Tighten up the gluteus, add the abdominals. Four more, four, three, two, and one, release it. And back to the side. For our adductors, inner thighs, drop the top leg over. Bottom leg, the foot is flexed, you're gonna lead with the heel. You're gonna and down, two. Once again, for more resistance, you would add an ankle weight 
Or you would have a rubber band around the ankles this time. Lift it up, squeeze, down and release. Lift it up, squeeze as hard as you can into the body. Here we go, up and squeeze it. Two more, up, squeeze, release, down. Last one, now singles and controlled. Here we go, lift, down, lift. Tighten the abdominals. My hand is over here for support for the upper torso. Keep it squeezing, breathe. Give yourself four more, four, three, two. Hold this one up, isometric for four, three, two. Now little tiny ones, lift it up and up and up. It should be getting warm down there. Come on, tighten it up, keep breathing. And relax it. Let's take it over both by the other side for the adductors and then we get to go to the abdominals. Top leg over. Flex at the foot, lift it up, two, down, two, up, two, and down, two. Once again, working our adductors, our inner thigh muscles. Bring it in and squeeze. During our lunges and squats, we also worked our inner and outer thighs. They help you to balance. So don't feel that you always have to get on the floor and just do leg lifts or inner thigh lifts. Just doing your lunges and squats will help your inner and outer thighs as well. Two more. Count to twos. Lift that heel up as high as you can. Now we're going to take it to singles. Up and down. Squeeze it up. Tighten the abdominals on the lift. Four more. Four. Three. Two. Hold this one. Four. Three, two, now little ones, lift it up and down, up and down, up and down. Four, three, two, and release it. Now let's take it to your back. Make sure that the small of your back stays on the floor at all times. There should be no arch in the lower back. Pull your navel back down to the floor. Feet on the floor, shoulder width apart. Hands behind your head. You have an apple and orange between your chin and the chest. The head is in a neutral line with the spine. And we lift up for two and down for two. Exhale up. Inhale down. Elbows are out to the side. The chin is in a neutral position. Now we've worked the abdominals through all the other exercises. If you contract them, then we have to get on the floor to do abdominal curls to work the stomach muscles. You can do that throughout the entire workout. Now take it to singles, lift it up and down, up and down. Double checking the lower back, no arch in the back when you come down. Exhale up and down. Let's do eight more, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it up, and little ones lift it up and down. For four, three, two, and one leg in, you can place it across the other leg, and you're going to go at an angle, leading with the shoulder, not the elbow. We lift it up, diagonal across to the opposite knee. Up, cross, center, and down. Working into the rotator muscles, our obliques and our intercostals. Up, over, center, and down. Exhale, up, over, center, and down. Two more. One more. Now take it control, singles. Cross, down. Four more, please. Four, three, two, Hold it up, and now little ones, lift and down, lift and down. And relax.
release it. Let's change legs. Cross, up for twos, here we go. It's up and over, center and down. Up and cross, center and down. Our chin is still in a neutral position. Elbows over shoulder. Two more, please. Up, cross, center, and down. Up, cross, center, now singles. Control it, over, release. Two more. Hold this one up and lift it up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Release it. Stretch the arms over your head and the toes and bring them back down. Bring one knee into your chest. Press the other on the floor. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, lift the leg up toward the ceiling. Stretching the back of the thigh. Flex the foot and point. And flex and point. And release it down. Cross it over that leg. Bring that leg up toward the center of your body. Stretching the outer hip and thigh. Exhale all the air. And release it. Place that leg on the floor, bring the other knee into the chest. Take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, lift it up toward the ceiling, stretching the back of the thigh called the hamstring. The foot is flexed, and we point, and we flex, and point. Bring it back down, bring the extended leg in, cross at the ankle. Bring that knee into the center of the body, stretching the outer hip and thigh. Release it. Bring both knees into the chest, press them out to the side, bring the feet in the center of the body. And release it. And roll toward me, over on your stomach. Pull the heel in toward the buttocks, stretching the quadricep, pressing the hips down on the floor, and release it. And the other heel into the buttocks, that knee stays underneath the hip, pressing the hips into the floor, tighten the abdominals to support the lower back. And release. Hands by your shoulders, and press it up and release it down. Inhale, exhale and press it up and release it down. And lift your bo bottoms up, up into your hands and knees, round to a cat stretch and release it. One more time, lift it up, drop the chin down and release it. And relax. And that completes your workout for today. I hope you've enjoyed yourself, and I look forward to working out with you tomorrow. Until then, stay fit. Once you can successfully complete the workout with no problem, it's time to add resistance. Resistance increases the intensity of the workout. By simply adding exercise equipment such as hand weights, rubber bands, ankle weights, or a box, you can increase the intensity of the workout. Exercises. On all the lunges, if you happen to have a box or maybe have some stairs, you would just step up on the platform. I suggest no more than 8 or 10 inches high. Remember the knee does not go beyond 90 degrees. By hand weights in your hand, you just add more resistance that you have to push back. You can also do the arm movements that I do in the workout with the hand weights. This will also increase the intensity. However, double check your technique that you're doing it correctly. On the one-legged squats, you can place the foot up on the platform using the hand weights, come down and bring it back up. This too will challenge you. 
Now, once we go to the floor, you can take a rubber band and place it either around the ankles or above the knees. You also have an option of using ankle weights. Rubber bands happen to be one of my favorites. So above the knees, lifting the leg up will create resistance. If it's not enough resistance, you can place the rubber band and it will create more resistance. Remember, contract the abdominals throughout the entire workout. So A, you strengthen the abdominals, and B, you support the lower back. So now you can take this program beyond any level that you're willing to challenge your body at.